Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. On today's video, we're going to take a look at the top prospects from the USA for the 2025 NHL Draft Class. There's a good crop of players from this draft class, so you're going to want to stick around and see these highlights. And can you please subscribe and hit that like button? We are approaching 10,000 subscribers. So if you hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it, and it'll help the channel grow. Okay, the number one prospect for the U.S. contingency is James Haggins. Yeah, he's not only the top prospects among the American contingency, but he's also the number one prospect overall for the entire 2025 NHL draft class. He will be playing this season at Boston College and is an exceptional offensive forward with an abundance of talent and skill. Now, I mentioned that he had 102 points playing for the U18 NTDP last season, but he also set the tournament U18 World Junior record for points where he put up 22 points to help Team USA win a silver. So look for Hagens to have a big season at the NCAA level and cement his status as the number one prospect for the draft class. Now check out these highlights. Like I said, he's got some skill for sure. All right, number two on the list. We're going to talk about a teammate of Hagen's, and that is Logan Hensler. He's 6'2", 196 pounds, and he's a right-handed D. He has 32 points in 61 games playing for the U18 and TDP, which is not bad at all. Now, he will be playing his draft year at the University of Wisconsin, where he should get the proper development to progress his talents. He's a big mobile D with a nice combination of offensive and defensive skills. Now, on paper, he didn't put up crazy numbers, like I said, with the U18 team. But I think there's another level that could be attained. He has the mobility intelligence to play a bigger offensive role. And I hope we get to see that this season playing with the Wisconsin Badgers. So Logan Hensler at number two. All right, number three, moving on. Another NTDP product, and that's Charlie Trethaway. Now, he played for the U17 NTP last year, and he had 35 points in 52 games, and he's a six foot one right-handed D, which is not bad at all. Now, don't sleep on Charlie Trethaway. He could be one of those prospects that could sneak up the draft board as this season progressive. Trethaway is, like I said, six one, and he's a right shot D, which the NHL love, and he has some sneaky good skill set and also a booming shot from the point, as you'll see from these highlights. Now, he led the NTDP U17 team in points for defense now check out this cannon from the point though like the kid can rip a pocket and he's got a little bit of mobility too from the point so you know what you like to see that in d and i hope that this year at the u18s i hope he has a pretty big season that'll be really good for him and his draft class all right number four william moore another ntdp product and last year playing for the u17 team he had 35 points in 52 games which is not bad for a young player now moore is another prospect that could potentially climb up the draft board depending on how his season plays out with the u18 ntdp but he also has some sneaky good skill he's a good shooter good passer has some nice hands too and you'll see this is uh, him in front of the net there he just picked it up and roofed it over the goalie's shoulder there so you kind of see his skill set especially in tight like that so I'm hoping to see some nice development for more this season. And he's pretty big, like I said, six foot two. So, you know, they take a little bit longer to develop. And I'm thinking that he's going to, I think he'll have a pretty good season this year for the U18 NTDP. Now, this one here is a pass. You're going to see him right at the top there. He gets his puck and he brings it into the zone. And then he makes a nice little pass right there. So you see the skill set and the smarts in this clip here. So we got William Moore at number four all right number five now this one it could have went either way but i went with adam benak now he is just a small little centerman he's five foot seven 156 pounds and last year playing for the u20 in the u20 czech league he had 29 points in 29 games which is really good now the thing is is that he came into the linky gretzky and he absolutely torched it and so he's going to be playing for the youngstown phantoms in the ushl this year so we're gonna want to keep an eye on him like i said he's he's small but he's got some crazy skill and so at the link like i said he had 11 points in five games and look at that look at that little sneaky move in tight here right 
So you can see the hands already. So I'm excited to see him play in the USHL and see what kind of numbers he puts up and if the size is going to be a problem. Obviously, smaller players, they got to put up some pretty big numbers and have a really good skill set to make a mark. And so, you know, he, he's he's five foot seven. Uh, hopefully he grows over the summer and he gets a little bit taller. But watch this pass right here. Watch this pass. Wow. Open net for his teammate there. Do you see that? Watch it from a different angle here. You're going to see this. This is like almost right through the goalies. That's unreal. What a pass. So Adam Benak, he's at number five. Okay, so we have some honorable mentions here. And this is in alphabetical order. So the first one is Sasha Boumedien. He's um, a D. He's the only D on this list. We got Conrad Fondrick, LJ Mooney, Cole McKinney, and Colin Porter. So, you know, this is going to change, like I've said in the other video, in the Canadian video or the CHL video, sorry. And I think that, you know, right now this is what I have. And I'm excited. Actually, next weekend I get to uh, go to a game and I'm going to see Adam Benak and the Youngstown Phantoms play against the U18 NTDP. So that's the first game of the season already. So, yep, it's starting. And I'm looking forward to this season and looking forward to put out a lot of videos for everyone. So please subscribe, hit that like button, help me get to 10K. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.